quick, efficient, full intensity Tabata workout. Okay, so the idea here is to get this done as quickly as you can. High intensity intervals, Tabata means 20 second on, 10 second off. And we're just gonna do eight exercises one time through. But before we do that, we're gonna start with a warm up. So we're gonna start with jumping jacks. These exercises, because they're so high intensity, like anything else, we want to get thoroughly warmed up. Uh, but especially for these, just because we're, we're going to be going so hard in each of the exercises. And this workout, admittedly, not for everybody. If you have a lot of joint issues and things like that, you might want to just lay off and just kind of build up to this type of workout. Okay, now we're going to go. We're here, stretch out, and then come down. Stretch out and come down from the side, it looks like this. I'm extending my right arm and my right leg, and then switching. Just a little back and forth, working on the balance. It's a ballistic stretch for the hamstring, and she's also lengthening her spine. And we're going to do each of those again. So jumping jacks one more time now. You want your heart rate up before we get into the main work. Heart rate up to a decent level. Maybe about 70 to 75% of your maximum heart rate before we really get going on this thing. Looks good. And let's go into that stretch again. Other leg goes back, right arm and right leg. There we go. There we go, great. Some nice length. Alright, now what we're going to do is a little quad stretch. So she's going to grab her ankle and just kind of pull, give like two pulls. So one, two, and then switch. One, two, so it's one, two, one, two. Let's do a few more of these. So what these do, it's, it pulls on it. It's the best way to warm up the, any kind of muscle is just these ballistic type movements. You don't want to get into the long static stretching. That's actually going to kind of Put the muscles to sleep a little bit. And now she's going to do the same thing, grabbing the ankle, pulling up, one, two, and one, two. Stretching out that hip a little bit. Good. Okay, let's get the heart rate up again. And let's just do some jogging in place. Nice and relaxed for right now. And then let's go high knees. Get them up there. And back down. Now as you're down here, arms hugging yourself.
Let's do a quick neck stretch. So hands are down, and then you're starting on your right side, and then you're just going down to the other side, and then swing it right back around. So don't go backwards. Just keep it all on the front half. Keep breathing as you do this. And let's get some torso twists. Just get the back warmed up. And then deep squats here. So get down low, stand up. Get down low, stand up, chest tall, sink those hips. Opening up the back a little bit, letting them sink down. Let's hold for about five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and up. One more just like that. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right, everyone, I've got my timer ready. We're doing eight exercises nonstop. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're gonna start with mountain climber kick-throughs. Crystal's gonna show you how to do it. She's in position, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. So her hips are down, she's doing a mountain climber, and she's trying to kick that leg through to the other side. If that's too difficult to do, you can do a regular mountain climber as well. Just high intensity, 100% as fast as you can on these. Four, three, two, one, and time, 10 second rest. Next we have frog jump, wide stance, jump up, touch the knees, soft landing. Three, two, one, and go. There we go, just do what you can with these. Again, this workout's not for everyone. If you have issues with joints or whatever it might be, you might just want to scrap this. This is more of a bonus workout, but it's a good one. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest for 10. Palms together, high knees, tapping back and forth like this. We're going in three, two, one, and go. There we go. She's getting that nice twist. Twist in the core, too. Perfect. There we go. Everything you got, this workout is so short that you should be able to go 100%. Get the good afterburn effect. Four, three, two, one, and rest for 10. Okay, next one. Planks, high plank position. Just tapping the shoulders back and forth. Okay, as fast as you can. Two, one, and here we go. Perfect. High intensity. These are especially hard after you've worked out a lot of other parts of your body because now she's fatigued. Now her core has to squeeze to work harder. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest for 10. Lunge jumps, touching the ground. So I'm here, tap down, tap, tap with the inside hand. Modify if you need to, two, one, and go. There we go. So if you have those knee issues, you can do the step back, but you're still trying to do them at a quick pace. 10 seconds down, here we go. Three. Two, one, and time. Bear crawl jump. So I go one, two, three, four, pop up, jump. One, two, three, four, pop up, jump. Three, two, one, and go. There we go. Nice job, Crystal. Good intensity. Almost there. Four. Three, two, one, and time. Split jumps, you're wide. Tap in the middle, down. Quick at the top, down. Four, three, two, one, and go. Good, nice job. Good, so at home, you're going as quick as you can. You're going high speed. We're almost there. Keep pushing. Take a little break if you need it, but try to push through. Three, two, one. Time. We have one more exercise. I'm down. I'm doing my mule kick. 
I get on my hands, I come up, come back up. Like so. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Now, if you want to step it up, you go here, kick up, come back up. Kick up, come back up. Here we go. Less than 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Nice job, Crystal. Way to work it. Tabata, intense, efficient. It'll improve you aerobically, anaerobically. And we're going to cool it down now. So we're just going to show you a couple things. Take as much time as you need to cool down. So we're just doing a little jog here, jog in place. Add the arms if you want to jump rope effect. It might take you, depending on what your condition is, it might take you longer to bring that heart rate down as opposed to someone who's you know, a top level athlete. So just kind of get that heart rate down to around 60% or so, and then you, know, you get into your kicks, you get into just little quad stretches, and then after that, you can get into a static quad stretch where you're gonna stand, balance, pick that focal point or just grab a chair, hold that, switch sides, Take some time, stretch out the hamstrings, stretch out the glutes, and you're good to go. Vada Express Workout.